Hi children, I've got a different animal to show you today and I wonder if you can guess what it is. So we've looked at my dog and we found out that my dog is covered in short hair. And then we looked at my ducks and my ducks are covered in feathers. And then we had to look at my little bunnies or rabbits and we found that they were covered in fluffy fur. Well, this animal isn't covered in hair or feathers or fur. Hmm. I'm going to give you a clue. She has scales on her body and she has a hard shell. Have you guessed what it might be? Let's have a look inside my basket. Here we go. This is Thomasina the tortoise. Hello, Thomasina. Thomasina likes it. If you stroke her under the chin, just like that. Can you see her so scaly skin? And here's her hard shell. It's made out of the same thing that your nail is made out of, your fingernails. If you stroke your fingernail, that's really what a tortoise's shell feels like. And it's a bit cool to touch as well. Our first sentence is going to be, a tortoise has a hard shell. Hi children, remember that you need something to write with, a pen, a pencil, a crayon, a felt tip, anything like that. You need some paper to write on and you need a flat surface to lean on to get those things sorted and we'll start our sentences. Right, so our first sentence is going to be a tortoise has a hard shell. Six words, a little bit longer today, that's why I've done two lines. So we're going to start with a capital letter because that's what you always do. A capital A. Ah. Now, tortoise is a longer word. So remember, the best way, if you have a long word, split it up into bits and work each bit out. So tor, we can sound that bit out using our phonic skill. So we're going to hear, let's see, tor, we'll deal with tus later, tortoise, tor. It's going to start with a t. Now we know to make the or sound, think back to our phonics, e or sound, it's an or and a uh, there's our little phonics or uh, sound at all. Now, tuss is a bit harder and you can't really sound it out. It's going to start with a tuh and I'm going to help you spell this one. So we have an R next. Then we have an I. Then we will have a tortoise. You can hear the sus sound, tortoise. And then there's a sneaky air on the end. A tortoise. Finger space. Has. Her ass. You can hear the sounds. Her. Ah. Uh, has. It's a s. Ah. Uh, tortoise. Has. Finger space again. Ah. Uh. Now, I we need to write hard shell, and I think we might have run out of space. So, what we do, if we haven't got enough space, maybe we can fit hard in there and do shell there. Okay, we'll do a finger space. Hard. We're going to use our phonics skills again. And we know R, ah, think of our phonics sound R, ah, we do an A ah, and a R, ah, hard, 
There's the dub. We can just squeeze it in a hard. Then we're going to go to the underneath line to do shell. Sh using our phonics again. Sh so and a huh makes a sh sound. Sh eh uh. What makes an uh sound? This time it's a uh and a uh shell. Don't forget your full stop. And there's your sentence. A eh? tortoise has a hard shell. Fantastic.